Hi everybody, just another quick update video because I really wanted to talk about my experience this past weekend in Chicago. It's also my last week on this current plastic surgery, trauma plastic surgery rotation that I'm on. So it's busy, but I figured this would be a good time to just let everybody know what's going on. I actually just finished uh, a extensor tendon repair in the operating room. It was super cool because the attending let me do everything from start to finish from you know figuring out my course of action of how I wanted to do it from picking up the sutures from setting up the bed to draping like he just sat back and let me do the whole repair. It was multiple extensor tendons so these are the tendons that allow you to extend your fingers um, have been lacerated in a patient and I was able to open it up, find them, which they retract sometimes. So that was interesting. And then suture those tendons back together and close the patient. And now the patient has a return of function. So I am really, really happy about that. Um, but back to the update. So this past weekend, I was able to attend the American College of Osteopathic Surgeons annual clinical assembly in Chicago, Illinois. I was actually supposed to judge the podium presentations on Friday and I was presenting on Saturday. I left my place Friday morning and I actually missed my flight for the first time Ever. It was crazy. I live super close to the airport. Um, so usually I give myself just enough time to make it where I'm getting onto the plane. I know that's probably a bad idea. But of course, this day I had some issues with my Uber and so ended up making it to the airport. And I would have had time, but then there was actually a line in the Miami airport never has a line when I go. I have pre-check, global entry, all that, and for some reason the pre-check line was 30 minutes and when I made it to the gate, it was one minute after they had closed the flight. They wouldn't let me on. They put me on standby for the next flight, but that flight was completely full. But then finally, I was able to talk to the gate attendants, and they got me on the afternoon flight um, with a confirmed seat. When originally, they told me I wouldn't be able to get a flight until 8 at night. So I ended up missing the judging sessions, but I did make it to Chicago and I made it to the hotel at around 525 there was the annual ceremonial conclave that was happening at 530 so I rushed and I got dressed and cute in the fastest time possible I mean I was in a ponytail jeans and a shirt because that's how I like to travel and then combed the hair down put on a pink dress and went at it and made it at perfect timing and so that was a good event just to see um, surgeons become fellows of the American College of Osteopathic Surgeons so that was a fun event it was my first time attending this conference so I wasn't sure what to expect but that was a good way to start that off and then when that finished it, it was interesting because some of the people that were becoming fellows I knew. So one of the people I recognized as my chief resident when I was an intern back in Philly. So that was interesting seeing that person again. And then there was another person who, when I was a fourth year medical student rotating at Oklahoma State University, she was actually the senior resident on who showed me the ropes. I never forget how helpful she was to me in the conversations we had and she actually remembered me I went to talk to her after so that was pretty cool and then I also saw Dr. Sherman Lees who was the first DO fully trained in plastic and reconstructive surgery so and he also started the PCOM plastic surgery fellowship so it was really nice to meet him I had interacted with him through email previously and had tried to arrange meetings when I was in Philadelphia but that didn't happen so it was really nice to finally connect and interact with a lot of these people. After the conclave, there was a reception where, you know, I talked to people, took pictures. And then there was a medical student reception that was a few blocks away from the hotel. So I went and interacted with a ton of awesome DO students. Also reconnected with 
a DO friend of mine and met other DO residents, um, one in neurosurgery, one in general surgery, so that's always a cool thing. And then I tried to stay out with them. They ended up turning the reception into, the place turned into a nightclub and I tried to hang, um, but I was tired. <laughs> so I ended up going back to the hotel and sleeping and it was amazing. And then the very next morning was my presentation. So at, well, the first thing I did that morning was I went, got dressed and I went to take headshots. The ACOS was giving free headshots. So I have a new updated headshot. We'll see when I use that. And then I attended an Asian blepharoplasty discussion. And then my presentation was at 1130. And it was a presentation on ways that we can advance getting more DOs into plastic surgery and the red tape that exists, especially when it comes with, you know, DOs having to pay extra fees when we're rotating, having to take extra exams that aren't necessarily us. <laughs> Sorry, there's like people in the background. Um, so it led to some pretty good discussion. I think it was a good starting point. And I did do this presentation. It was a panel with Dr. Kristen Comrade Snites, with who is the outgoing president of the ACOS, and then a fellow PGY4 resident as well. So it was a great time, great discussion, and I think we're starting the framework of you know building this platform so that we can get more deals, not just in plastic surgery, but in surgery fields all over because. As most people know, a lot of the DO schools have a focus on primary care, but it doesn't necessarily translate over when those students want to go into more competitive specialties. But outside of my presentation, I was able to attend some great plastic surgery presentations. There was one on um, wide awake, local anesthetic, no tourniquet surgery where they use VR to distract the patients. I thought that was cool. And then there was one on reverse abdominal plasty. And this was actually done by Dr. Patricia Mars. And I had known her because I'm involved with the Women of Color in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, also known as WALK PRS group. Um, but I had never met her in person. So it was great to go meet her, introduce myself, and just thank her for her work with the WALK PRS organization. But then I later looked and found out that I'm part of a research collaboration where we're assigned PIs and medical students and residents within the WAC PRS organization, and she was actually my assigned PI. So it was really cool that I got to meet her in person, and I actually look forward to working with her more this year. But outside of that, my trip to Chicago was very, very, very short. It was very fulfilling. I loved being around deals in plastic surgery and surgery in general. It, it was funny. I was actually on an elevator and recognized one of the people there. And I was like, I know you. And I realized he was one of the trauma surgeons at the hospital that I was working at my first year here at Larkin. He was one of my attendings. So it was really cool to see a DO in general surgery, surgery in Chicago that I have worked with that lives here in Miami and just to be on the elevator by coincidence. So it was a great conference, but I had to come back, get back to work. The good news is I did finally get to have my cheat food day in Miami and I was finally able to try out this cinnamon roll place that I've been dying to try out and it was so worth it. I got this cinnamon roll that had cream cheese frosting on it and another that was a Nutella hazelnut made me happy and then I also went and got a burrito and chips and a margarita and it was the best thing ever. So I was very, very happy to have my cheat meal. I was very full. So full, in fact, that I didn't drive back to my current rotation location on Sunday night. I just woke up at 3.30 in the morning Monday and then made the drive here and then was back at work at 5 a.m. So um, it's been busy ever since then. I think... I can't remember Monday, it's pretty much a blur. I know Tuesday morning, and I'm on call all week, so Tuesday morning I did get a 5.30 call that starts my day. So it's never just, oh, let me just wake up and get dressed. Usually it's trauma bay or ER, someone's calling, and then I end up having to go do that. So I had to do a facial laceration repair. It was around the eye, and that came out good. And then even this morning, 
I was able to round, but right when I finished rounding, I got called from the ER and I had to do a complex ear laceration repair, but luckily that came out pretty good. I wish I could show you guys the pictures, but yeah, it's just another busy week, but I am thankful for the opportunity to be able to go to conferences and not only present, but interact with fellow colleagues and advocate for medical students and meet them as well. So that was pretty much a glimpse of the past weekend at the ACOS um, annual clinical assembly and a peek into how this week is going. It's a busy week, but it's fulfilling. And since I'm on call, I'll probably, well, I'll be on call Saturday night as well. And then my next rotation starts Sunday. So it'll be interesting to see how that transition works being on call one city and then going to Miami, but we'll work it out. But I hope everyone watching this is having a great week. And like always, thank you so much for watching my crazy journey as it unfolds. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And then I will do my best to try to make my next video an educational one. Maybe I'll do hand since I'm getting a lot of hand cases. Um, but we'll, we'll see what's easier for me to put together. Oh, and that reminds me, yes, Monday I also had a didactics presentation. That's why it's a blur. <laughs> um, I presented the m, m Monday morning. So that's why I woke up at 3.30 and then drove here and rounded because I had to be at didactics for 7 a.m. But it all worked out. I'm glad that's over. And hopefully the rest of the week is smooth sailing. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Have a great week, and until next time, guys, bye.